Hi, it's Michael from Logic Hop, and in this video, we are going to take a look at our brand new Elementor plugin for the Elementor page builder. Now, this brings the power of Logic Hop content personalization to Elementor and makes it super easy to personalize your site. Let's jump in and take a quick look. You'll see that I have a couple of conditions set up. Logic Hop conditions are just questions, and we use those answers to personalize content in real time. So this is just looking for a UTM code. UTM content is industrial. Uh, we have another condition, UTM content is modern. And then a third condition that says UTM content is empty. That means there's no value associated with that. So here we are working in Elementor. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select our call to action. And you'll see it says the best design solutions. Now let me show you the special thing that Logic Hop adds to Elementor. Under the Advanced tab, we go to Logic Hop, and this gives us all of our Logic Hop conditions. So when we select these, we can choose when these content items will be displayed. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and select UTM content is empty, and that just is our default. That means if the UTM content string is not set in the URL, we're always gonna have something to fall back to. Now let me go ahead and click on this and choose Duplicate. And now I have two of these. The second one, I'm gonna change this to be industrial, the best industrial design solutions, and under advanced, Logic Hop, UTM content is industrial. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this again. And here I have third, so let me click this. Your favorite modern design solutions, and again, under advanced, Logic Hop, and we're gonna change this to be modern. Let me go ahead and click update. Now, if we come to our site and view it, I'm just gonna reload so we can see. We should see the same thing again because there's no UTM content string. And let me go ahead and add that. And here we're looking at industrial, the best industrial design solutions, and change it out to modern, your favorite modern design solutions. So you can see how very easy it is to add personalization to WordPress using Elementor and Logic Hop. This is a really powerful way to work and a really great way to increase conversions. Now I wanna jump back into the Elementor editor and show you something that we have here. You'll see this is a bit of a mess. This might drive you nuts as you're looking at this, but one of the cool things that we can do is just right click and we can choose the navigator. And as we're editing this, we see that we have all of our headings. And using this, we can actually simply just turn these on and off or enable them and disable them. Let me get this here. So just like you would in Photoshop, boom, 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 we can see and preview how these are going to look. So we hope you can start to see just how easy it is to add personalization to your site using Logic Hop and Elementor. Thanks for checking this video out and let us know if you have any questions.